Do not know how this is gonna go, so we will see. Let's do a puddle of white. Spread it around. Okay. And I'm gonna do some pink. Again, whoops, that really did not go where I wanted it to. There we go. One drop of orange. come back in business and that's what it was unbelievable Okay, so use my torch. Whoa, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Yes, <laughs> we are back in business. I have too much white in the center, I know that. So I think I'm gonna, um, oh my god, I was pouring that off and I didn't even know it. <laughs> All right. Man, this, ah, oh, no! <laughs> mayday, 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 mayday. Oh. Do you see how so reactive that is, you guys? Like, I am just beside myself. That is fantastic. Let's blow it back. Now let's torch, shall we? There we go. All right, it's a wrap.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta thicken up my white just the tiniest bit. But. Alright. On to the next. Okay, guys, so the moment you've been waiting for, I'm going to show you how to make, whoops, this is recipe number one, okay? Recipe number one, I've got like two more variations coming your way. So just for this tutorial, I'm going to go through the first one. Uh, gloss medium and varnish, tube paint. You can use ink, but you're going to have to turn it into a paint first. And I have another tutorial for that, but, um, okay, so yeah, those two, you can use Deco Arts Glazing Medium, or, uh, what did I do with it? Liquitex Glazing Medium. I know Golden has one, too. This one is fluid-like, um, I'm sorry, it's more creamier. It's like a very thick... Let's go with heavy cream, maybe even heavier consistency. There is a glazing medium that is almost water-like. I have not tried that one. If you decide to try it or if you have some on hand, let me know how it goes. This is the key component to making um, the colors glaze over top of each other. So it's, it's extremely transparent. It makes your paints transparent. Um, it does not work without this stuff. Then you can use the gloss medium in varnish. You can also use, um, DuraClear matte varnish. I'm sure the gloss varnish of this probably works too. I have not, uh, I tried poly, well, it wasn't polycrylic, but it was Rust-Oleum Ultimate Polyurethane Gloss. And I probably got to try a couple more times in a couple more variations, but I could not get it to work for me for this kind of recipe. Okay, so this is, oh, um, well, you can do it this way. I also, the second try around, the pink blooms that you guys saw, this one, this one included Floetrol, and I'll, I'll show you exactly how I did it. So, I'm going to mix this color on camera for you real quick. I just put... So, however much paint you have in the bottom of your cup, alright? I usually fill my cups like a quarter of a way full. About like that, okay? Then... If you have some on hand, great. The other component that you can use, but it is optional, is when Golden kicked out their samples, they sent regular gloss or regular gel gloss. This is a wonderful product. You can take your paint and you can double your your amount just by adding that much. <laughs> That's crazy, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So I just mix those two up together. All of a sudden you'll notice everything just gets really, really thick. And then, okay. So once that happens, um, I come in with the glazing medium and I just cover the top. Just a thin layer of the glazing medium. Okay. And then I come in with the varnish. And just cover the top. It's all eyeball. I don't have a measurement. I don't have a ratio. I did the same thing for the uh, 9 ounce cups. I just covered the top. A little more generously, of course, but not not much. The, the key factor here is mostly paint, a little bit of medium. These mediums go an unbelievably long way, okay? So, 
and then stir that up. Floetrol, you can add one part or two parts. We're not adding one part to the paint. So the little the little coating that I did across with the glazing medium and the varnish, you're going to do the same thing with the Floetrol, but you can do it twice, okay? So just across like that, and then you can go across again. But you want it to stay uh, mostly paint. Whoops. So, I'm going to stir this up. Now it's very thick, right? So, from this point on, I use just distilled water. I have not tried it with, you guys know how I like to use flow aid in water. I have not tried it with that yet. So I just went in and I added probably about a quarter of water by volume. So whatever your volume is in paint and medium after you mix that, add a quarter of water to begin with. It's still not going to be enough, you'll see. Because we're going really thin. You don't want to go too thin or else you get the results like the wild bird that I did the other day. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, this guy this was this was a result of my paints being way too thin okay but it dries exactly how you see it which is great there is no you know movement or what you what you get is how it dries which is a really good thing all right so you see it almost like barely moves we're stream we're streaming a little bit so just put another splash. Let's say about maybe a half a teaspoon at a time. Maybe a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Once you do that like twice though, you really want to go easy on the water because you can actually overdo it. If you go, if you do overdo it and it's way too thin, just add a little more paint. Like I said, that medium does go a long way. Nope. That little bit of the regular gloss gel <laughs> is unbelievable. You know, I took that tiny little amount of paint in the bottom and now I'm making it like unbelievably thin. Nope. I do feel it that we might be there this time. Nope. All this stuff that we added has the ability to hold the vibrancy of the pigment with water. I'm not sure about, well, actually, I'm not sure about the gloss medium and varnish, but definitely the, uh, the gel, regular gloss gel, and the glazing medium. And there it is. That is your consistency. It's going to run off the stick. See how it just keeps running and running and running and running? That's what you want. If you hold it pretty high and it makes an indentation, that's good. If you hold it like this, it'll make an indentation and then mound eventually. That's how you can tell that it's right. Okay. Letting it sit, it's going to thicken, too. Uh, just use your judgment. If it seems too thick, just add a couple drops of water, you know, if anything. And it'll bring it right back. But, yeah, that's how we do it. So, if I hold it right here, there's a mound. That's okay, too. Um, but, yeah, these guys, they might have thickened a little bit. 
but I'll show you the consistency just so so you will see you know on a larger scale that orange is always thicker so maybe I should try another yeah this is thicker but see how it just streams off like that that's perfect that is what you want so there's there you have it guys there's recipe number one see you hopefully tomorrow with the second recipe that did uh, these guys and and that one so stay tuned for that and I also have another bigger one coming tonight so there it is okay so yeah orange magenta and black okay so you cover your tile right Okay, so our lightest our lightest color is the magenta, so that's going down first, right? Then it would be the orange. Whoops. Wipe this. Then the black. I want to do just a Tiny bit of magenta again. And orange. Okay. Just like that. So over top, I like doing that first. Okay. And then now sometimes it sells right up on you and sometimes it doesn't it all boils down to thickness and my paints might have been just a tad too thick That's like really delicate and that's like in your face. All right, let's torch it and boom. That's really pretty. And there you have it. So then you can stretch it up. And it's as simple as that. That is pretty. <laughs> All right, on to the next. If you haven't already, there's a subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. You can click on and then below the video window, there's a bell. If you ring that, it'll always notify you every time I upload a video. The top left of the screen is all my 2019 pours and then two other videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.